Hi there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can rename the Wi-Fi signal that's coming from your EZB controller. You might want to do this if you're working in a classroom and you have multiple robots around, or you're collaborating with someone else and you don't always know the string of characters that's after your EZB v4 connection name. Maybe you just want to make it simpler and tell the robots apart. This is the same process no matter which Revolution robot you're using, but I'm going to demonstrate today on JD. To get started, I'm going to load the Easy Builder software, and I'm going to go into my bookmarks menu here and click on Example Projects. You want to open up the project that's the bare project for your robot. So if you're using JD, open the JD bare project. If you're using Six, open the Six bare project, Rolly, Rolly bare, and AdventureBot, open the bare project for AdventureBot. Just click the green open button, and this will open up the bare project. The bare project is a nice clean workspace with minimal controls. So let's say you've been working on a project and you find that your signal name is too confusing and now you want to change it. So we'll start by turning our robot on and we're going to lay it face up. Then under my connections, I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose my EZB V4 connection, click connect. and then click the blue connect button and give JD lots of room to go into the initialization position. I need to go into the web server in order to change the name. So we can see here we have this number 192.168.1.1 and then we've got some other numbers here. This is going to be the number that allows us to access the server for our EZB v4. And to access it, we're just going to click this little icon right here. It kind of looks like a circle with some lines in it. We click that. And this brings you to the web server for your EZB controller. So you can see here there's a couple different options. If you want to learn how to connect to client mode, you can watch one of our other episodes. We've got some settings. We've got some diagnostics. And you can see here under current configuration, our system name is JD Robot one but our SSID is EZB v4 JD1. That's where you're going to see the identifier that you currently have listed for your Wi-Fi connection. So if we click on Wi-Fi AP mode, this takes us into the access point mode for our robot. And you can see here, we've got our Wi-Fi SSID, and that's what we're going to change. And you can change it to whatever you want. I recommend still leaving EZB v4 so you know that it is an easy robot that you're connecting to and change the numbers or letters after the V4. So let's say that I've got 10 different robots in a classroom. Maybe this has a sticker on it, a piece of masking tape. Maybe I know that this is JD number 10. So why don't we call him that? We're going to say JD 10. So that's the new name we're going to go for. We're going to click Save and Reboot. Confirm the changes. So that chime means that our EZB controller is rebooting. So I'm going to go back into Easy Builder and just disconnect for a second. Turn my robot off. Now if I power on the robot, I should see a connection that has the new name. So I can go under my Wi-Fi connections here. And I scroll down and I see EZB v4 JD10. That's the new name that we chose. So again, I click connect and my blue connect button. And there we go. We're connected to the same Wi Fi signal. We just changed the name to make it easier to identify. This is a great tip if you're working with multiple robots or in a classroom setting where you need to be able to identify your robot quickly and efficiently. <laughs>